music by the club. Hello, hello, and welcome to Yes, That's My Kid podcast. I'm Asia, he's Anthony, and behind the scenes, we have our producer, Jacob. On Yes, That's My Kid podcast, we dive into transparent, authentic, and bold conversations focused on parenting, childhood development, and the nuances of raising mixed children. Now, we are not here to give advice. We are simply expressing our opinions and sharing our experiences, all of it. The good, the bad, the triumphs, celebrations, failures, everything. And we would like for you, if you like our podcast, to like, comment, and subscribe. And share with everyone that you know. We would truly appreciate it. So if you don't like the podcast, still like, subscribe, and share. What he said. (laughs) (laughs) All righty. So Asia. How was your week so far? I mean, it's Friday. How was your week? Man, this week was actually a bit trying. So um, Autumn, my daughter, the the child we will be talking about, this mixed child, <laughs> she is one, but for people who like to count the months, 15 months. Mm. And this is the first time she was ever sick, like the first time she's gotten a cold or anything. I don't think it's COVID related because myself nor my husband is sick at the moment, but is the first time that she has been sick and it was like a little trial like you know i was like i felt sad like one of the, the first night when she was really really sick and we were trying to yeah. sleep she just looked like and i was like <laughs> i had to walk out the room because i was like i think i'm about to cry because she just like looked like just so unlike herself and just like man you are so sick and i can't really do anything but like suck uh, your boogers out with this uh, not a sucker <laughs> that's tough. but like um also was like really trying because Since like five and a half months, she's pretty much been sleeping on her own in her own room inside the crib, Uh, except for like weeks when her she's growing a tooth or something. She might need us to come in there. So Mm. this week, I think it was Thursday, uh, which was also my husband's birthday. So he was out. So it was just her and I. And I had to go in and go in a couple of times. So she was waking up because she couldn't really breathe. So I went into the room a couple of times and then put her back down. And then at some point, I just like. I had to give up. Like, I did not want to <laughs> keep going in and out. So I had to sleep with her um, yeah. on the day bed that we have to the side. And that girl was just all over me, man. Like, <laughs> all over me with her sick breath. Like, I don't know why she was doing it, but she would wake up, sit up on the bed, and just, like, slam back down yeah. and have her cheek right on top of my cheek. And I'm like, Autumn, like, you are so hot because she's running a fever. Yeah. I'm like, can you be in your own space? Yeah. And then when she was off to the side on her own, her face was just directly in my face like blowing this hot dragon breath i'm like good lord like why (laughs) why are you doing this but i think mothers and fathers are different in that sense because usually when when aiden's sick i just kind of let him be oh really amy's the one that's always like waking up most of the time i just let him rock out Mm, and what cry or um like not cry but just like deal with his sniffles and stuff nose and stuff like that so you on the um, man up side you telling your kid to man up already surprisingly yeah with Aiden I'm more like that (laughs) I mean you definitely just went through it your kids were sick right you your family yeah we all were sick (laughs) (laughs) we all got the got the got the germs got the Gamari right right but um but it really wasn't bad I mean my son got through it pretty quick my daughter was just just good the entire time she wasn't like physically good but she was in good spirits and everything the entire time and um my man's got through it um my wife had it the worst Mm-hmm. but um and i got it but it was like i probably had it second least compared to my daughter or something mm-hmm. um but it was it wasn't that bad uh con- considering comparatively to other people but yeah my week was pretty good my uh my two mixed kids um <laughs> <laughs> they were pretty good this week so now we're here we're here at the podcast Damn. this is where this is where the re- real week starts exactly yes that's my kid that's this right. is our work we're being <laughs> <it right> now. <laughs> <Facts>. <laughs> so now listen this week i had a conversation with my wife mm-hmm. it was around marriage mm-hmm. not our marriage okay the marriage of our kids and Ooh. their spouses their future spouses mm-hmm. and the topic like many of our other topics ended up centering around race of course and uh what race we want all of our each, each of our kids 
to marry if we had a preference or, mm-hmm. or what we pictured initially. Mm-hmm. So I'm asking you that question. What race? Oh, you're asking me first. I'm asking you. I'm not even going to go first. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have you set the tone. And that's that's work fine. Off that's fine. 100%. I, I, I want my children to have uh, black spouses. <laughs> All right. So, so just to clarify for the listeners, exactly. you have a white husband. My husband is you white. Want your kids to have a black spouse. Okay. One hundred percent. Like okay. I, I don't even want to segue at all. Um, <laughs> there, I. It's kind of strange. Like, so I, I know people listen. And be like, but you know, you have a white husband. It's like, yeah, but how I came into the relationship with someone who is, I guess, other. Like they would consider to me like he would be other since he is not black. Mm-hmm. Uh, is kind of through my failure of relationships with black people and kind of just been like, okay, he's Mm. nice. Let me try. Right. But I think I still have such a strong um, pull and hold to the black community. And and like, honestly, for majority of my life, that is all that I known and I appreciate Mm -hmm. and love our culture that I don't really. So like for, for that reason, that's one reason I don't really want to lose that culture within my children and my family, mm. my legacy, right? Because like this is my line continuing. Sure. And if she goes with anyone other than who I am, it almost seems like part of me is gone, <laughs> like part of her blackness, like she is just right. gone, you know? Right, right. So right. um I don't really want that to happen. Sure. And I don't know, man. I just I I don't really see it for anyone else. I just don't. I don't know if I'm being honest. It's like, I can sit here and try to make some stuff up and sound all like yeah. cool and stuff. It's just like. So is it a matter uh, of you would be actually be like kind of taken back if they didn't get with somebody who was black? Um, I Because I feel like they would just be like, mom, what are you talking about? How are you going right, to be taken back with me? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So I think that I might, I, I certainly wouldn't show it i don't think um to my child i don't think i would be outwardly like you know have disapproval or anything sure but i like i guess in my journey of raising my child i want to make sure that she is fully aware of who she is and Mm. yes she she will be biracial but to me and even to her father if if i'm being honest she is still a black child to the world she will be black so Mm -hmm. With that, I want to, her to be proud of who she is and hopefully be proud in her, her spouse, whoever she chooses, and ho- hopefully that would be a Black person. Okay. Interesting. So, so what was your answer? <laughs> so my answer with my wife. So it's so obviously I have a boy and a girl, right? So mm-hmm. I got a six-year-old girl, so odds are she'll be getting married first before my son does. He's nine mm-hmm. months. So... Mine was actually interesting. I think the more interesting one was the boy. The answer I had to with when um when it came up in terms of who my son was gonna marry, but I'll start mm-hmm. with my daughter. Okay. So with my daughter, you know, from the jump, I was, I want her to be with a black man. Mm-hmm. Specifically because um I feel as though uh I do a very good job of representing um being mm-hmm. a good husband. Mm-hmm. So I think I would take it a little bit some type of not even a little bit, I would take it some type of way if um for some reason subconsciously my daughter didn't pick up on us having a good relationship Mm -hmm. um, my wife and i because i would take her not getting with um a black man as her like i don't want to i don't want whatever they had because it wasn't good it wasn't good right um so that's probably primarily um, wait quick question like i just because because um what if her experience is kind of similar to mine so like what if like i my husband is the first and only like white person I ever dated and I married yeah. him. So like, what if she did mirror or, you know, date black people exclusively and then all of her relationships kind of just weren't working. So she decided to try outside of her race. Like, would you then feel that it was kind of, you were kind of slighted? So that's a good question. Um, I don't know if I feel like I was slighted at that point, but I would also probably be a little more involved depending on what Mm -hmm. and involved in her dating life in a Mm -hmm. obviously a a non hovering way. But I would certainly be more involved and inclined to uh, advise her on kind of where she's finding these dudes that are Mm -hmm. apparently not really working out or whatever. Right. But um, but when you say outside of my outside of our race, I mean, my wife's Hispanic. Right. So, so that was one of the things that kind of threw me out too, because I was like, of course, I said a black man, and then um, 
automatically in my head, I felt some type of way when I was thinking about her being with Hispanic men. But I was like, but I had to question myself because I'm like, why would I feel some type of way with her being with Hispanic men? You know, all my in-laws are Hispanic. All the mm-hmm. men in my on my wife's side are Hispanic, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, so I had to question myself a little bit. But I think it also goes back to um, you want somebody that's reflective of you, right? right? You want somebody that you could kick it with, you could chill with too. You could, um, you guys have similar experiences, so that mm-hmm. way you can kind of speak life into them and kind of really speak from a a, a, a place of knowledge, right? When um, with advice and whatnot. Um, if you're for me specifically, like if she were to come home with a white man, I would be. I wouldn't even know, like, just because my experience from a personal level outside of like work relations Mm -hmm. i don't have those really most of my friends are either black or hispanic or asian so um i don't have those really like uh understandings of um relationships and people of caucasian descent you know so um okay so then the next part is my son (laughs) So, so it was it was that one was like perplexing that one caught me off guard because i was like in my head, I said black woman. That's what I said, right? In my head. But in my heart. And, and that's a yes. But uh-huh. in my heart, it was uh-huh. a Hispanic woman. And who I pictured was a Hispanic woman. Really? Yeah. And the reason for that is because um <laughs> so look for it. <laughs> oh, I am stunned. I ain't gonna even lie. I'm so, stunned. This so is the reason the reason for that is because um that's who I'm with. So I automatically associate who my son's going to get with, with, with who I'm with. Interesting. Um, (laughs) And, and I figured that that is who he sees anyway, similar Mm -hmm. to my daughter. She sees a black man in the house. That's who she's subconsciously going to be drawn to hopefully. Um, Mm -hmm. And just like my son sees a Hispanic woman in the house, he's going to subconsciously be drawn to a Hispanic woman. With that, <laughs> you know, I got a question, Bruin. So, like, <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's a question? What's a question? Okay. <laughs> so, all right. So, I guess you can, like, you know, tell anyone who's listening, like, your experience of, of why you are with a Hispanic woman. But it is hard for me, and I think a lot of women in the Black community, to see a Black man with anyone who isn't Black because of because everything that has gone on in our culture, honestly, because sure. black women aren't seen as de- desirable to a lot of people. We aren't it, although we are to, it. to many people, <laughs> but it's just like women of other races, Hispanic included are considered exotic, right? You know, they, they have that look there, these video vixens as if black women aren't enough. And so I guess that's why I'm a little like side-eyed in you right now. I ain't gonna even lie. I'm like, what yeah. you talking about right now? <laughs> <laughs> so I guess like I, I do understand what you're saying because that's who you're with right now but I guess maybe kind of taking it back yeah. are you with a Hispanic woman because of um your like your experiences growing up or did you find her to so, be exotic yeah no nah, that's uh <laughs> that's not me so let's get that out there <laughs> let's not paint you with any of that <laughs> um so I guess to, to back it up, um, my it's not really due to experience. To be honest, it's more so due to um, location, mm-hmm. uh, to be honest. Um, most of my relationships, even from like high school, have been with Hispanic women, mm-hmm. um, primarily because uh, in my town, you know, you go to high school, that's that's you're kind of uh, a prisoner yeah. where you are. Right. Right. So there weren't that many um, black women. Or if there were, they were taken, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. Or a crazy thing, I found out some of them were family way late. <laughs> Thank God. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank oh my God. God. <laughs> Could have been disastrous. Oh my goodness. But um <laughs> but yeah, so but but I always but it was always something for me to I was I always had a preference, obviously, in terms of I shouldn't say preference. I just always said, All right, it's gonna be black or brown. <laughs> okay. So I know why you're giving the side eye. I'm not saying <laughs> prof- I, I'm trying to I'm trying to say this in a nice way without diminishing another race. Uh-huh, I just knew what I, I I knew where I wasn't going to go to. Right. Okay. I'll say that. It. So I'll say that um because I'm not trying to diminish anybody. Right. That's if, if if you know what I'm saying other people are your thing, that's cool. But for me, it was either um black or Hispanic, right? Mm-hmm. Um black was cut off and I I you know what I'm saying. So I just my experiences were based with Hispanic, um Hispanic women. Mm-hmm. Um 
And that's really what it came down to, to be honest. It was just yeah. that's that was my experience based from young. And um and that's that's who I ended up falling in love with, a Hispanic mm-hmm. woman. And um and that's just how it worked out. Mm-hmm. Um so let's let's do this early, real quick. I was <laughs> I was trying to be politically correct by not saying who I wasn't going for okay. when I used the word preferential. Right. Um I was just not trying to say I was excluding certain races. Right. I'm just saying the, the the two races that I was gonna be with um in any type of intimate or relational capacity was always going to be black or Hispanic. Mm-hmm. Um so that's 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 really where that comes from. So going back to my son, yeah, that's that's basically why. Don't get me wrong, that's why I said in my head. Mm-hmm. I said I, I thought a black woman, but in my heart, because I know um, how things work subconsciously, and also going back to what I, the comment I said about you ain't no um, therapist. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm, <just> <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even. I've done enough I'm therapy, but I'm definitely not a therapist. <laughs> but but then going back to what I was saying in terms of um, uh, if my daughter were to get with somebody who is like me, then cool, mm-hmm. we can relate, da-da-da. Same thing with my son. He's got some women who can relate to, who my wife can relate to. So, um, something like that. What if your son brings home a white woman? <laughs> um, what's what? that like? What's that conversation like? So, this is a, this is another thing, right? Okay. Um, so... <laughs> So it's uh so just another thing. Um if he does, he does, right? He does. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to give him the latitude to make decisions in his life. If he's mm-hmm. over 18 and he does, I'm gonna give him the latitude because you know what I'm saying he's he's an adult. I'm gonna right. give him that 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 rope to make decisions in his life. And I don't want to influence him based on my experiences, right? Um I I've never been with a white woman, but I know that my experiences with interacting from the few the, the, the times that I have interacted with people with Caucasian families um, from a relational perspective, mm-hmm. like mostly like in high school, little in college, from a relational perspective, I could see that being problematic mm-hmm. from an intimate perspective and trying to for them to just understand me and 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 just us understand each other. So dynamics would, would, would have been um, tough, right? Yeah, it's not easy. Yeah. Yeah, so speak you can speak on that. Yeah. <laughs> so if he were to do that after 18, I would give him the latitude, but I would definitely discuss with him. Um, but then again, that's the purpose of this whole podcast because he's, it's going to be different for him. You, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? You see my light skin kid. <laughs> it's going to be so different for him yeah. and his interactions with um, with white people, period. It's going to be right. so different. His interactions right. are going to be way different than mine were. His interactions mm-hmm. with, with the people in general are going to be so different. Yeah. Um, but I'll say, I'll give, and I'll give him more hope, though, than I would give my daughter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if she were to come home, I'd probably just, and I'm not even trying to be funny, but I'd probably, like, nip that. <laughs> Um, that is that is interesting. That I, I like. I wonder. I mean, I hear why you're saying why it's different, right? It's more of a subconscious and experience level, but it's like you would still interact with the families of of your daughters, like choosing certainly. Right? But you know what? But um, how we do things, um, the males ahead of the household, right? So she's gonna more or less, to a degree, submit to this other man, um, to a degree, um. And things are going to be more conformed to that uh, area, right? Whereas my son, he has everything that no. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking. I'm speaking. I'm speaking. Let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just speaking. <laughs> I'm just like I'm just I'm speaking. And, right, right, and, and right. listen. And and hey, I'm speaking from my male perspective. And um, on top of that, um, my son's gonna have the last name, right? He's gonna keep that last name strong, still in there. My daughter's not. So going back to your point in terms of you feel like it's kind of getting diminishing the culture to a degree. I mean, my 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 my, my kids are half black. Then their mm-hmm. kids gonna be a quarter black, and mm-hmm. I have a last and I have my last name on my daughter's side. You know what I'm saying? But then, but then it would be the same way either way with with Aiden or Anaya, like whomever they choose. Like if they choose someone who is not black, then again the, the 
the bloodline, I guess, in a sense is, I feel like diminishing is the wrong word, but like yeah. you said, like less black, right? right. So either way, daughter or, or son. We're going to have, that. We have to edit the shit out of this video. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is I how, know. This is how I know. tough. <laughs> it's just but, <laughs> tough. <laughs> right. It's, it's hard. It's hard to say. <laughs> But I mean, uh, honestly, it it is what it is. But when yeah. you, <laughs> I, I think you said like in terms of editing things, like yeah. that whole submissive thing, boy, you hella traditional. Like, what are we even talking about? Because I don't think it necessarily has to go down that way. Like, it it doesn't. She doesn't have to kind of submit to his traditions and culture and way of life. Like, she can still instill herself. And what she's learned from her familial experiences onto her family and, and her spouse. Like, it, it's, I don't feel like speaking from experience, I guess I'm speaking from from a woman and what yeah. I'm currently going through with a white husband. No, <laughs> submitting like in, in certain areas, like we I think we have more of a true partnership. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of things are 50 50. I don't just be like doing things because my husband wanted because he's the head of the house. Yeah. Like. Boy, what are you talking about? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. you know, like we we kind of equals in here. We we have our respective, um, interestingly, I guess, like fields of expertise. I guess we sure. can say so. Like, I would defer to him for certain things because he is more knowledgeable in that yeah. area, and I think it's vice versa. Like the same way he would like be like, oh no, nah, you know, Asia, you got it, you know, yeah. because you know more about that. So, yeah, no, I, I get it. I I understand what you're saying. I think that um. Submission is just a strong word, right? It's just a strong word. So don't word. use it then. There's, uh, for lack of a better word, I'm still going to use it. But don't use it. Um, it's just, <laughs> there's degrees of submission, of course. I'm not saying uh, I, need my, I need my dinner right now. That Not that at all. Okay. But I feel as though the direction that the, that speaking myself, mm-hmm. I feel as though that direction that the, um, in my family, that the male goes, kind of that's the direction the family will be shaped and formed towards. Um, obviously input and discussion, and it could be a, a, it can be a decision, um, from the, from the wife and the husband in terms of, all right, this is the general direction we want to take our family, right? Mm -hmm. Um, this is like the, the scope and space that we want to take our family and shape our family into. Mm -hmm. But even with that, you have a lot of input from the male, right? And I definitely feel as though, um, a lot of times, um, you could correct me if I'm wrong, or, or I mean, I'm, a, I'm still going to think it regardless. But um, mm-hmm. that women are way more. Um, uh, what's the word? Uh, when they are I'm more likely, you, uh. when they're more like, <laughs> when they're more likely to to. Uh, are you thinking of nurturing? No, 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 what no. I'm talking, okay. I'm talking about in terms of. Um, oh, men are more likely to like persuade a woman than than women and, and to a man. I, I feel as though. And so, and, and, and a lot of scenarios. Um, that's just how I feel, and that's based on some kids are not around. Say it again. Play pussy is power. So what are you nah. talking about? <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how I feel about it. It could be it could be like this example. It could be um how, how many times how many how often do you see like um uh a female not noticing her self-worth because her spouse or boyfriend has diminished it so much rarely do you see it the other way or i should say less times do you see it? The i other think way i think less men speak about it because i think then they won't be seen as a man but i don't think that it that means that it doesn't happen no i think it happens a lot less though uh i don't per- perhaps i don't know I, I think it happens and i think that uh, men are emasculated by it if it does happen sure. and so they won't talk about it so it, i think it's kind of hard to make that cons- comparison but um i i don't know i think yes in a lot of unhealthy relationships and more so like a boyfriend girlfriend type of situation i see that often sure yeah. that women don't notice their worth but I think it definitely happens the other way around. We just don't hear about it. But I don't think that means that men are more persuasive. I don't think they're more persuasive. I think that they're more um, in relationships. I think Mm -hmm. that they are more assertive in that sense. And women, um, not all women, obviously, are going to be more (laughs) passive. Right. I think it depends on the type of women. So perhaps. Sure. Sure. 
I think that a lot of women in business, women who have ownership of things, aren't going to just be like, for sure, everything you say, like it's going right. to go type of thing. I, because I think those women have different experiences than just your average around away girl, mm-hmm. so to speak. Yeah. So, in one capacity, I hear what you're saying. I, I yeah. think you definitely have more of a tr- traditional line of thinking. But I don't necessarily believe that is the way of the world today in this in today's generation. I agree. But I also think that I, all right, so another thing too, right? Going with that, I think that um I think that and I'm just talking based off my pandemic ass a little interaction with people. Mm-hmm. Um I generally think that girls are much sweeter than guys right they're generally and when i say sweeter i just look at my daughter she's extremely sweet she's more of a person pleaser and she's extremely sweet right okay and based on her personality type right um she i can see her um rolling with a male's thoughts on on a lot of things you have friends that are like that (laughs) Mm -hmm. right so um I but i also have friends that are the opposite for sure for sure but i could see that happening more than if it was than the other way around more frequently than the other way around in terms of a, a guy being so sweet don't get me wrong i got i got a couple guys who are not even sweet but simps um oh my gosh <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> you um, went the whole way up you want to get this thing shut down <laughs> <laughs> but i do got some guys who are, are like that but it just happens it seems to me it happens way less you basically saying that men can't be emotional no bro you Not basically just call them sims you're saying that they can be sensitive no, 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 and no. show their tender side. This is why men out here not crying and hugging each other. We don't need to do that that often. It can happen, but but like, maybe you do. Maybe we don't need wow. to do it that often. Wowzers! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not calling. I'm not calling the ones that are in touch with their emotions. Simpsons. I call Sounds the ones that. Like it. I call the ones that are 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 caving to be uh to have their self-worth de- de- diminished that's what i'm calling those are the ones that i call simps the dudes that i call simps. so are you calling women simps too just based on those same traits no because i mean mm-hmm. honestly i'm uh i'm not calling them simps <laughs> let's bring it back before we before we cancel before we even start i'm still gonna go <laughs> so. with this but i'm not calling them simps <laughs> Because it's a it's a double standard, but the double standard's real. I won't call them steps for that. You get it's a double standard. It's real. It's, it's a real standard, because it's, it's a, real. No. The double standard is there and it's a real double standard. And when you say it's real, are you saying it's true? No, I'm saying the like, double standard actually exists. So okay, sure. So I wouldn't call a, a female a simp in that scenario because like i said going back to how i look at things that they are much more inclined to be passive in certain scenarios so it's more like um yeah i don't know the guy that's a, being, that's a like huge assertion. generalization and yeah th- yeah that's i guess all I you do. mean i mean check your circles and uplift the women around you not including myself because i ain't one of them <laughs> <laughs> i don't need to be spoken to <laughs> like, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, guys. Anthony is a really cool guy. <laughs> He's a really nice guy. He's a really smart guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 he is. Um, <laughs> this what you're hearing now. <laughs> it's not reflected of the true him, I guess. Maybe it is, and maybe I have to, I'm just learning now who he is for the first <laughs> time. I don't know. <laughs> <Could> <laughs> All right, so let's bring this topic back. All right, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. <laughs> so you are you are adamant on your child having a black man as, yes, a, as I am. a spouse. Yes, but on. I will. Ass- I will accept whomever they choose. I mean, I have no choice, right? If I want to be in my child's life, if I want to continue to have a healthy re- relationship with my children. Um, sure. I'm cr- currently, just one child, but if I want to have a healthy relationship with my, with my children, I do have to you know, accept their decisions. And and as you said, in some way, try to guide them to make better decisions. 
Like all around. Talking, I, I'm just saying better. <laughs> I'm just saying all around better. <laughs> like you know, health choices Bruh. and work. You know, decisions. I'm just saying all around, all encompassing. Just, you just cleaning better. it up. Got it. Mm-hmm. No, no, that was you. <laughs> that was you on the line. I ain't cleaning nothing up. Woo, child. <laughs> it's just but, messy. Um, it's just messy. <laughs> but yes, um, I I would definitely persuade my children to be with a black person yes Mm -hmm. and if it doesn't go my way guess what it's not my life and that's that's what it is yeah so would you still be if they were happy right if they were happy do you think you would i mean but but look my thing is like this though right i feel as though it's it'd be different um so one of my reasons for for having my daughter get with a black man is because they she'll be they'll be able to relate to me right one of my mm-hmm. reasons for feeling as though and um, picturing my son with Hispanic women is because my wife will relate to to um, to to my daughter in law, mm-hmm. future daughter in law. She's Hispanic. Mm-hmm. I'd relate to her because I'm with a Hispanic woman. I feel like it shouldn't. It, it wouldn't necessarily be that much of a change for you if your daughter would get with a white man because you're married to a white man and you're already understanding of that culture way more than somebody who's not married to. Married in that culture. The world is understanding of white culture. We your understanding from understand a relational white level. Culture. No, no, but your understanding, your understanding, that tolerant does not... and hold on, understanding, tolerant, and um, tolerant to a degree. Certainly, but you understand nuances better than somebody who that does not mean who, I will want that for my child. So what Agreed. I'm saying that like my relationship with my husband is good. My relationship with his family is a different story. Okay. And I would not want that for my child and slash children if I have more. Right. So that's why I mitigated it initially by saying if your kid's happy, right? If if Autumn's happy. Yeah. Um, and things are going smooth on that front, then I feel like at the end of the day, it would generally it would go pretty smooth. Aside from your initial um want of having her with a black man, at the end of the no, day, it would wouldn't. all go. You keep saying that. I'm telling you it's not. It's not gonna go smoothly. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Because those family functions are boring compared to what my family functions are. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Like it, it like it, it's it's just I've accepted it, right? That this is my mm. life and, and I chose someone who made me happy because you know that's what we're told that we should do. Like be happy, right? Like I feel good, I'm happy, like my husband treats me well, and that yeah. was not happening in my other relationships. But when it comes to family gatherings and and the dynamic with his family, it ain't sweet. Hmm. It's not. And it's not okay. something that I would want for my children. Okay. So, no, it wouldn't be smooth. It'll probably be the same, like, nuances that, like, I go through now. Like, certain things are said and it's, like, rolling my hmm. eyes. Or, or, or I'm quiet. I'm not myself around their family. I don't talk as much yeah. around their family because, like, one, they won't understand some things. Sure. Two, it's like they be saying the wrong things. <laughs> I don't really want to hear. Like we don't laugh at the same things. <laughs> Even with his friends, honestly, yeah, yeah. it's like that's not funny to me. Yeah. But you guys love it. I'll try. It. Like I, I try a lot of things. <laughs> I learned a lot of new things. I've done things that I would have never done. I don't right. think I went hiking before my husband. I'm not saying okay. that's like a. No, I mean, it is a white yeah. thing to do. I guess, like, right from where I grew up, it was a white thing to do, right, right, right. <laughs> but I did it, and it was yeah. fun. But, like, everything isn't a fun experience, I guess. So, right? So, that's your experience. You don't want your kids to experience that. Um, mm-hmm. A lot of those things, right? And uh, I want to have fun at family functions. Facts, facts. You do. You may not be around that family that much. Um, your daughter's family, but not like your daughter's in-laws. You may not be around them like that. Yeah, but, but I want I want them to dance at family gatherings. I want music to be playing. <laughs> I want people to do the electric slide yeah. and the wobble. <laughs> like, so, I don't want to sit. I don't know if you want them to be doing that in 20 years. I do. 20 plus years. I do. Maybe Dancing is years. life. I'm talking about wobble, the wobbling. <laughs> We um, still do an electric slide. What you talking that's about? A fact. That's a fact. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's a fact. <laughs> but so, but so, my my question though was, um, uh-huh. do you think that your daughter's very light skinned right? Yeah, she bright. <laughs> just like, just like. <laughs> no, 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 my my baby brighter. Is she? Oh no! Are you talking about what else? Okay. 
You've seen Ada. Colored seen eyes. Autumn. Colored eyes. Light skin. Yeah. Hair still light straight. Skin. Hair my, still my, straight. Oh, I mean, <laughs> Autumn's hair is curling up, but it ain't. Yeah. It ain't 4C. It ain't mine. <laughs> I you know feel you. But, I mean, her experience is going to be 100% different than yours. Absolutely. Her interaction, her interaction with everybody is going to be a thousand percent different. Than yeah, but this is why I had to let her know that she's black. She's going to walk out to that world and interact in ways that she knows that she is a black woman. For sure. Mm-hmm. But I also feel as though, and this is going to get to another topic that we're going to talk mm-hmm. about, not right now, but in another episode, it's a level of, it's a level of, um, I, obviously, you know, there's a level of acceptance, right? With the, right, with the, absolutely. With a lighter skin tone, it's a level of acceptance. Yeah. Um, and and when, when people are um light skin like that it goes two ways one of two ways either they get ultra black Mm -hmm. and they tend to kind of overcompensate right um overcompensate um by doing overcompensating things right or they acclimate (laughs) to the acceptance right you follow me what's the acceptance they it's like it's like we've spoken about this before. Like how um, oftentimes, and let's just get canceled on the first episode. Hispanic, <laughs> his, uh, Hispanics um, will assimilate with white people. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. That's you know what I'm saying? saying. She can't be doing any of that. True. Mm-hmm. I mean, I get it. I get it. <laughs> I just yeah. I, it's just gonna be interesting because I it know will for, be I know for Aiden and your daughter. Uh-huh. It's, it's, I say it's. it's specifically Aiden because um, she's Anaya, than Anaya. yeah yeah and Anaya mm-hmm. Anaya she's identifies as a, as a black girl mm-hmm. um fully um and that's because her, her skin tone's um closer to mine and all this mm-hmm. other stuff right Aiden on the other hand is different right mm-hmm. and autumn is different in terms of their, their complexion and stuff yeah so what we say right what we say in our experiences may just sound like that like experience like our experiences versus their own real life experiences absolutely where they're going, you know what i'm saying yeah absolutely <clears throat> absolutely but that's why i think that like everything starts at home right mm. all the core learning and and belief of who they are and what they will be and, and that goes to like worth and and accepting you know what what they should i guess you know even in relationship yeah. any type of relationship i think starts at home and like yeah. the love they receive from home and that's why I think that's I'm gonna do my hardest to instill in her like, this is where you come from, girl. You a black <laughs> woman. You came from a black woman. I came yeah, from yeah. a black woman who came from <laughs> a black woman. So you are a black woman. Facts. And that's what you're gonna walk into the world knowing and delivering and speaking to other people as a black woman. Yeah, I believe that. So yeah, I'm not. I'm not coming up off of that. You can't make me. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not trying to come up with that at all. I'm, I'm really not. I'm just, I'm just looking at things. I know. So it's going to be different. It's a, and, yeah, it's going to be. Um, and honestly, tumble-tub. like, I mean, when we talk about this another topic, like, she'll go to, if I want her to go to, like, great schools, that typically means, like, predominantly white schools. Right. And but hopefully we are living in a neighborhood that is not exclusively white. Like and yeah. still a nice neighborhood. I still want her to interact with people who look like more like her mama, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so when we cut this up, it's gonna be like seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna be five minutes of us trying to get things like situated. I guess. <laughs> the camera situated. I know. <laughs> but yeah, so only time will tell. What yeah. happens with these kids? But right. At the end of the day, I think um, as long as my kids are happy, well taken care of, mm-hmm. and uh, safe. Yeah. And I feel as though they are living their true selves mm-hmm. and don't, and that's not stifled, then I am not going to be upset with any decisions they make from an educated standpoint. Because right. I think that, uh, I think we're going to do a good enough job to instill the values we need to instill in them. Mm-hmm. Um, even Not even just racial values, but just values about life and, right. and self-worth and all that stuff. And if they use their discernment and their upbringing and then they decide to get with somebody that we wouldn't have thought, then that is their decision Cutting as them adults. Off. 
No, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I am just kidding. That's funny. Yeah. No, no, I, I feel the same way. Like I said, like I, I would 100 welcome. And I mean, just as I guess you know, my mom and my family welcome Michael. Like it, it won't be yeah. any different. I like we are very. I think as as black people we are we tend to be more welcoming than a lot of oh, other yeah. races so and I, sure. I think that's like ingrained in me i guess it's like deep inside of me i'm not a harsh person i'm not a mean person mm-hmm. um i i tend to be upfront with a lot of people about things but for my kids like like i said i'm i'm very much a believer like it's your life i'm Correct. not i'm not here to run your life i'm here to guide you yeah. When you become an adult, you can make your own decisions and you're, you're going to make your own mistakes, whatever you consider mistakes. And I I mean, it's going to happen. I'm going to be there for you. Yeah. Mm. Nope. All right, guys. That's the Yes, My Kid podcast. That's my kid. Yes, that's my kid podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for checking in. Please like, subscribe, share. Like, comic. I said comic. You said comic. <laughs> light. <laughs> now I said light. I'm done. Bruh. Like, <laughs> comment, and subscribe. So, yes, that's my kid podcast. What wine are you drinking? Um, it's something called Josh. I'm not mm. putting it up there because they ain't sponsoring me, but it's just like, <laughs> like I'm getting these sponsors. Right, like, no, let me show you, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's just Josh Reserve Cab Sav. Okay. I don't know what year it is. Yeah. But it, it's kind of tasty. I ain't gonna lie. It's a red wine, obviously. Nice. Yes, it's a red wine. Um, cool. Yeah, I like it. Good. It ain't bad. Yeah. Word. All right, guys. Appreciate you. Like, subscribe, all that stuff that Asia huh? said. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, with a dad dad joke. Joke. All right. All right. So, why? Uh, why? Uh, all right, I got it. I got a good one. Why? Do dads bring extra socks when they go golfing? Extra socks when they go golfing? Because uh, they might me. get a hole in one. Uh, okay. That's certainly it. a dad joke. <laughs> that That is one. I'll give it to you. <laughs> there we have it. <laughs> All right. All right. This is Yes, That's My Good Podcast. Peace. Bye.